Hi, I'm trying to make a quick video to show you how to use live stream uh, with iClone and also in VR. Okay, so let's first off start with uh, iClone. So I have a scene in iClone that I created. Uh, I'm using these uh, four uh, guys are outside playing. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do first is have it, have it there, uh, and then I've opened up the live stream plugin. I've chosen the characters I want to stream. I've already actually, actually they've already been transferred over, um, and so if I open, if I show you my uh, screen for uh, uh, here, they are inside of um, the VR soft, the, the gaming software transferred over. Okay, and so then we go back to the um, iClone. I put on transfer. Oops, I should not where's the transfer? I go to link. I choose activate link, and then I hit play. And then they will start to move around inside the uh, uh, the software for the uh, gaming. Okay. Um, and so they're they're working, and now just comes the issue of trying to see it in uh, VR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on the VR headset. And I have one controller right here as well. I have, to check that. I have more than one. And I'm able to squeeze the sides and move around inside, and I can point uh, as well. Okay, so let's switch back over so you can see the thing playing there. I click on VR mode, and there. And now, as I move my headset, you can see that I'm inside VR with my uh, with my devices. It's cool because the pointer will actually point and interact with them. Like I said, I can squeeze the sides. Oops, I'm going to scoop myself my body out a little further away from my uh, where I was. I'm going to squeeze the sides and then I can drag around to interact with my character. So I'm at ground level. I'm going to actually stand up and work my way over to the character. Uh, I notice that the speed on this is a little slow. Um, okay. um, but that's because of the playback. Uh, I recently found that you're able to use multiple computers, and so I'm going to figure out a way of uh, playing back each character with, with a trick computer. Um, these characters were made using the new plugin for iClone, the uh, face shot or. or Well, I should say two of these. This one here was using a face shot, and then this one here using a face shot as well. Uh, that one I made using Crazy to Talk uh, 8, Ed. and then the other one, Marty, this Marty, Marty back here. Marty was uh, was just, just a character I made uh, from scratch, pretty much, uh, in character. character created. Well, all these have character created bodies. The viewers. Okay, so I wonder why, why this guy's out there. Well, I found out that the uh, if I animate props, so these 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 just kind of cool looking like this. Uh, if, I, if, if I animate the props um, inside um, iPhone, they don't transfer in using live um, live link unless they're attached to a character. So what I do is I animate these props, I attach them to this character, and then just import this character just to have them in here um, so that the, uh, the license will work. Okay, there he is. So this is Jaden Smith. This is basically using Jaden Smith's character.
Okay. So that's that. We gotta get gotta get the uh, processor to work a little faster. But so far, I'm happy with how this is working. The only issue is that I can't record this. If, if I could, well, I can record it and play it back in a sequence. But the only issue with the, with the sequences. Okay, I'm gonna stop the uh, AR mode here. Um, issue with okay uh, sequence is that uh, okay so I find that I can record a sequence and when I play the sequence back uh, um, um, it won't let me go into AR mode so what I want to be able to do is Record it so that all the animation is working and it's smooth and flows better um, inside of the uh, software. But then I'll also be able to uh, jump into AR and see those things moving around in AR. I gotta figure out how to do that still. Oh well, this is Chris. Just signing off. Bye.